Good afternoon, everyone. Well, finally, um, a lot of these things that seem to be in the way of you know people getting back in the market seems to have like um, gone. For example, the the, the next three-year LTRO, which happened yesterday, which sort of went in, uh, which had about 550 billion taken up in that. Um, we also had a second bailout being passed through, and. Um, We've had, you know, quite a bit of volatility and it's a bit of welcome volatility too, even though it's been actually very difficult to trade it, but it's better than just seeing it just churn sideways and do nothing, you know? So, I mean, that has been good on, on in that level. You know, just been having a lot of spreads on lately. The, 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 the trend of the spreads have all been going up as there's a bit of steepening as, um, first of all, with Short Sterling, the Bank of England, um, said they're not going to really do any more QE and um, same bit of pressure off Europe, the Euribor yield curve is um, going up as well and same with the um, twos tens and that's what we're going to look at today. Um, first if I look, um, show you a chart of the Bund as you can see um, we had a big run up from 137.89 and then we tested and we went past 140 again. I don't actually think that was going to happen but on each occasion it's ended up being a good sell regardless of, you know, as long as you could take a bit of pain if you got in a bit early. But um, the first time we went to 140 and went as high as um, 20 and the second time we had a stop and it went up to 28. But both times um, you've seen a good 70, 80 point pullback on the first occasion and 100 odd on the second one. and. Um, both times when they have got into the 40s, it's been a good time to buy the Schatzburn spread. Now that spread has, spread has been a bit wild and it's just, it's been a bit, you know, I, found, I, I think I was a bit unlucky when I got in a bit too early, which turned out to be okay. But if you now look at the Schatzburn spread um, over here, this is a 240 minute chart of it. So as you can see, this was, you know, almost three months back. And then Lately, the trend, the, the level that we've been bouncing off is 301, like between 85 and 93, 94. It's about a 10 tick um, thing over there. But uh, before that, we actually um, went as low as 44. So this time, um, once, once we um, went to it again, tried to buy it the first time and took a little bit out of it on this this um, particular moment there but then bought it again here and I think I prematurely bought it and this is when we had to push up into the 40s and that's where we pushed down, lo um, pushed down lower into the 60s before coming back up again and then after that then we had the next push into the 40s which went up as high as 28 and this is where we went to 301.44 which um, when I was trading it, I didn't actually look that far back, but now looking back on this four hour chart rather than the one hour chart which I normally use, I could see that that level turned out to be a good support and again it sort of bounced off to the tick on that level which was a shame because it turned out to be really good. But either way, whether you looked at this chart or not, as um, soon as it got in the 40s that bund is always a sell. and. Um, and with that shat, it's just not moving really. He, you know, just got a slightly hedged out right of um, the bund, and um, turned out to be turned out to be a good buy. And then since then, we've actually rallied almost about 80 ticks. So turned out to be good right there. So um, going forward now, um, we can't really look at this chart. We have to um, look at the the June spreads because that is that is what we're going to be looking at next because I think we roll over on Monday I believe on June um, on, on the March um, contract so going to find out what levels are good in the June contracts and because the Bund um, on June I believe is around um, if we pull up a June chart right now of the Bund yeah we, we're trading at 137.62 and um, let's just do a 5 minute yeah so 137.62 and the high we've actually gone up to is 138.48 so again this now potentially has another two 300 points worth of upside um, to get back into the 140s so right now I don't feel the risk to reward is quite there as there was with the March contract but um, we'll see what happens to this bun now because um, and see whether we start inching up towards the 130 high 138s um, 139s and if we do get there that could be a possible good moment to 
have a high probability by. But until um, um, until then, uh, we'll do an update once this is all rolled over and everything. But um, good luck with your trading. Um, hopefully, there's some good opportunities that come by. And until then, um, 